I want to refer to Singapore, uh, Lee Kuan Yew. Now, check this. When Ghana became independent in 1957, that was about the same time that countries like Singapore and so, they became independent too. Singapore, no, the people used to grow their own chickens in the room. Or turn outside and someone would steal it. And Lee Kuan Yew came and said, who born dog? So we can't go on living like this. We can't be with chickens. How? So he said this. It's going to be difficult for me. That's Lee Kuan Yew speaking. Just chapter 13. And the rest of it too is interesting. But chapter 13, the green of Singapore, is what we can emulate. So what he said was this. It will be difficult for me to change the mothers and the fathers and the grandparents and so on because that's their culture. To raise chickens in their homes. I'm not going to even go there. But I'm going to start with who? Who am I going to start with? The children. And where am I going to start? In the schools. That's why when we talk about best practices, that's very important. So he declared every school in the country an oasis of excellence. Not by word of mouth. Though. An oasis of excellence. In other words, we are going to be so exemplary in the schools where the kids are so they can go and change their mothers and cousins and grandfathers. So make sure that in the school there's a place where the kids can sit and eat. Where they can go to the toilet with toilet paper. Where they grow hedges. Where they grow grass. Change the school environment. So the kids were more interested in going to school than staying in rooms with the chickens. Are you with me? Change the whole country. But then you know what else he did? He brought in the soldiers and the police, the teachers, municipalities. Everybody was hands on to make this revolution happen. Do you see where we're going with this? Lee Kuan Yew was here in 19, about 64. Because he heard about Kwame Nkrumah and all the wonderful things Kwame Nkrumah was doing. And wanted to see how he can connect Africa. Because he too has been colonized. But when he came, and he says that in his book too, he left very disappointed. Because they, these, what's wrong with these people? That's what he said. They have a rich country, a rich agricultural country. But they are staying in dust. And they are using their best brains to study Latin and Greek. Are you Latinos? Are you Greeks? So why are you spending time studying all these people? Why well, we should be studying our own culture and adding value to our landscape? He said, look, these people will be paupers. And he was very honest about it. He was honest about how dirty his own people were. Are you with me? So now you could afford to say how dirty other people too were. It, you don't go to say, I'm perfect, but what do you bad? I said, I'm bad, so are you. I can be good, but so can you. That is a leader. He tells you the truth. Any person who makes a promise to you, watch that person. Anybody who makes a promise to you that they can do something for you, without telling you that this is what you can do for yourself, or not, watch that person. And I'm saying this to you, that when you go to your schools, make a difference. The kids are there. They are tired of writing and passing examinations and then going to universities, picking up degrees and being poor.